7 11 2017 blood red moon blood red 7 11 2017 blood red sun 7 11 2017 blood red rocket blood red infrared blood red all together why why just ask don't don't listen to them no more why why they all red that's what I told you many moons ago red iron oxide from what big red planet big red planet the moon rose uh, for the third night in a row I believe or fourth red and, and today the, the sun and the moon was bloody red the camera is not even giving it justice of how red it was the sun is appearing to be yellowish uh, white and it wasn't if you look at the background of where the sun is to the right the moon looks like the sun uh, but why would it be that color in the dark why is the moon orange like that because that planet is this close because where in the hell is the red iron oxide coming from geniuses where the fuck is it coming from? You know, if it is no planet out there and it's a theory, then where the fuck is all this red coming from? See? I don't listen to y'all. Don't curse. Fuck y'all niggas. I stop listening to you because fuck you. The truth is the truth, motherfucker. It don't matter if it has a motherfucker behind it. It's still the goddamn truth. So, first top screen. To the left that is the moon folks it's our moon is not fucking red you know for you uh, new generations the moon ain't goddamn red you know and then think about the biblical verse the moon will be turned to blood turned it's not fucking red it will be turned red why red fucking iron oxide is only goddamn common sense and then what is all that red behind the fucking sun? That's the goddamn sunrise. We've been having red sunrises. Those who are old school know goddamn well we have golden sunshine. Yellow golden sunshine. You know, sunrises. I know fucking fiery reddish orange bullshit that you're seeing. You're seeing death. And then I, I should have added... The, the smoke that's around the whole skyline from that fucking planet hell stupid bitches is telling me hell ain't coming from the sky when it's saying it in revelations it's fucking just saying it hell will be brought and death is following it go fucking google it motherfucking then read it straight out of your book so you blind deaf and dumb bitches can see but y'all want to come here and dispute with me and shit. These motherfuckers can't wait to say, Oh, false prophet. Oh, this. Oh, that. Oh, sorry ass motherfuckers about to be destroyed. Oh, sorry ass motherfuckers about to be destroyed. All you fucking agents. How much they pay y'all motherfuckers to come and fucking hate on these videos? How much do they pay y'all motherfuckers? Nothing. Y'all do it for free because you some scared bitches. You scared of what the truth is? You scared of what you seeing? Why is everything goddamn red? Because it's a planet. An iron goddamn planet. That's throwing off fucking red iron oxide. What is red iron oxide? Some type of rust red particles is coming from this planet. With a trillion fucking meteorites behind that motherfucker that's ready to bombard the earth like God said it was going to do you sorry sacks of shit I, right now the way y'all motherfuckers is hating and shit on the truth fuck you bitches I hope it get every last one of you like it is it's going to destroy every last one of you y'all dumb bitches the government you goddamn so called goddamn elite y'all going underground cause I know you watching my shit too you fucking faggots you going underground you fucking rats what you hiding from the Almighty, 
sorry sacks of shit. You know what he gonna do? Bring lava up through your shit. You know what he gonna do? Quake your shit. Well, you you motherfuckers probably ain't gonna come. And do those damn deep underground military bunkers is gonna become your fucking tombs. Your tombs. You are gonna die in them bitches. Can't nothing protect you from the day that's coming. And then you sorry sacks of shit. You fucking faggots. You made a whole goddamn world of fucking faggots. These sorry ass weak excuses for men and shit. Coming here talking to me. The sissy ass motherfuckers that in my motherfucking face I smack your shit up nigga. Like the bitch you are. Sorry ass motherfuckers coming to this page trying to tell me something nigga. When the evidence is right in your goddamn face nigga. All y'all niggas ready to get destroyed by the Lord. He is here because this shit is goddamn fucking red motherfucker. Like it said it's the end. G'day everyone, Pepposy here. I hope you're all well in whatever part of the world you're watching this video. Okay, I've got some interesting stuff for all you trendsetters out there. Um, this is a particular video for the Perth community. Um, the reason I'm saying that is because we've all been taking particular note of what's been going on in the skies here lately. Um, so I've got some stuff that, you know, is pretty interesting in, in my and shocking. It's going to be shocking to the Perth people because you guys, you, you'll be able to see it as well, but to the Perth people, um, especially Sam, who uh, sent me an email this morning. He's a, a Perth guy. Um, he sent me an email this morning and he's going to watch this and go, this is bullshit. Now, I'm going to show you exactly what's going on, okay? Yesterday in Perth, we had... A superior day there was not a cloud in the sky all day not one I didn't see a cloud all day and I kept going out to check was taking pictures of the Sun etc you know not all the time just every now and again so I think I did it two or three times yesterday um, <clears throat> so I want to show you these now uh, this is Mandra and Mandra is one hour south of where I live exactly one hour um, you know give or take some traffic so that sky you're looking at is exactly what I was looking at yesterday and I'm an hour north now this is trick that's what I was looking at yesterday now have you noticed a slight difference here you see these clouds here well as I've told you before I'm about a good 10 minute drive from trick probably a little bit more but not much look you know it's 12 minutes from my place yesterday, there was not one single cloud. And I can see, just about see the beach from my house. Not this beach. I can see down to the coast almost from my house. So I'm quite shocked to see this with, with all these clouds there. There was no clouds anywhere near my house yesterday. And I took some stonking pictures, folks. Absolute classics. I'm going to show you them in a minute. But I didn't see any cloud, and I don't think anyone else saw any cloud. Now, that's kind of funny because when I go through these, I'll take this up to 1800. This is 1800 yesterday. Now, I just told you that there was no clouds, none. I did not see one single cloud. And I can see the beach from my place sort of thing, so... I can't literally see the beach, but I can see the coastline, if you know what I mean, the horizon. So let me play this for you and see if you pick the fault, especially people in WA. Watch this.
you see that? Did you see that? <laughs> oh my god, that's a classic. Did you see that? Okay, it's 27 minutes past eight. This is an updated one I just did before I came on. Sunset in Perth is 7.18 p.m. That's right, 18 minutes, 19.18 p.m. Twilight is 7.47. And I can back this up, folks. I've got scientific proof on this. So just wait a second. Did you all, did you all see what I meant? Watch this. I'm going to click back, watch. One, two, there was not a single cloud in Perth yesterday, folks, not one. I'm going to go back one more. Three, one more, one more. See, this is what it looked like yesterday. <laughs> that is hilarious. <laughs> oh, tell you what, I needed a good laugh. When I saw this this morning, I cat myself. Absolutely cat myself. I'll go I'll go forward one more time. Watch this. So you've got horizon to horizon clouds. Bang! They disappear in one second. Look, 17, 18, watch, boom, that's the, the someone went up and uh, crop seeded and destroyed all the clouds in one easy go. Now, is that the most blatantly outrageous thing you've seen in a long time? What do you think they didn't want us to see, folks? Well, we'll go back in a second, but like I said to you, I have scientific proof. Okay, now I'm going to let it play. Now, remember I said to you, twilight finished at 7.47 p.m. Now, for some stupid reason, they've just started putting that in. It actually makes it worse because now I can actually show you exactly how long the sun stayed up for or whatever this is. This isn't the sun. This, there's no way that this is sun residence, folks. Look, it's, it's 8.30 and there's, you can still see. It, this doesn't do it justice, but I'm sw I swear to God, if you live in Perth at the moment, you go outside and you look west and you look southwest, there is a massive glow. Okay? Now, remember 2017, folks, right? Go to time. There is cloud to cloud cut, cloud to horizon cover all the way through. Looks looks pretty convincing, doesn't it? Right? Now we go to 16, 18, bang, gone. Clouds gone from horizon to horizon. In one millisecond, the clouds are gone. Okay. Mandra, this is this is what the, the horizon looked like yesterday. I shit you not. I'm sorry to swear, but I'm a little bit peeved and a little bit angry that this is this has been done. To be honest with you, so I'm going to play this one, and this is the same. I'll take it to 1800 just to cut the time back a bit. <clears throat> now, just sit back and watch this. <laughs> oh man, oh man. <laughs> oh, what a pack of bugs.
bozos. What a pack of bozos. <laughs> oh, sorry, I'm, I'm wetting myself with laughter. It's like, it's so funny. It's like watching the weedy kid punch the, the school bully in the chin, isn't it? <laughs> okay, I'm going back. Watch, watch. You see the, the light sources? Horizon to horizon, folks. <laughs> oh, jeez, that makes me laugh. What are these people on? You're on drugs, fellas. Get off them. Seriously, man, jeez. Give me a break. What a bunch of tools. <laughs> so we go from one second, folks, to absolutely beautiful skies like we had in Perth yesterday, to absolutely horrendous tropical weather, which I can tell you right now did not happen. Well, it didn't happen in one second anyway, if it did. <laughs> These guys need to go and get a job at the comedy club. Only problem is they're not very funny. So I'll just keep watching. Wonder what they don't want us to see. There's a full moon in Perth yesterday, folks, by the way. Look at that sky, guys. Look at that. Okay, guys, oh, that's, that's the fun times. Now I'm going to show you some pictures that I took yesterday. Right. First of all, I'll show you this my video first. I did this myself outside my front yard yesterday. Okay? It's only short because I had to send it everyone in, so I've got it chopped a bit. But you get the picture. This was the moon last night. Here you go, folks. Recording the initial moon. What's this? That's no thing flare, folks. In a completely pitch black dark. You see that? See the lens flare going on there? Down there. So that's my video. I did that yesterday or last night. Here's a picture that was sent to me yesterday by one of the WA people taking a picture of the clouds here. So let's see what happens. Yeah. What's going on here?
Okay. Sorry about the wait. Right. Watch this. This is Debbie's picture. She took this just outside of her office yesterday. And this, these are planets, folks. Disguised as they are, but they are. That there is a massive worry. And have you ever seen anything like that? That looks like another atmosphere on its own. I have no idea what that is. But the thing that's really worrying is that big red one there. Look at that. You can clearly see that. What's this? I'll go back to the original, sorry. Okay. Look at that. You can still see those those objects. One, two. I'm pretty sure there was five in there actually when you looked at it closely. One, two, three, four, and this was a fifth one here, or that one. I'm not really sure, but they're covered by the clouds there a little bit. But it's a fantastic picture, absolutely stonking picture. Like I said, I'll put it through the uh, thing again. I don't know why it's making me do this. It never has before. That's a great picture. Look at that. Look at that cloud cover there. Unbelievable. One, one, two, three. Pretty sure there's one there as well. Low level. They're not clouds. Definitely not clouds. Could be wrong, but they don't look like it to me. There's the other one. One, two, three. There's one over here. Four. Jeez, that's a good picture. Thanks, Deb. Okay, right, moving on to the next pictures. I told you guys that uh, we're having serious issues with um, the sun here at the moment or whatever it is staying up. This is outside my house yesterday, last night. I took these before I took pictures of the moon. That there is at 8. Uh, 12 minutes, 10 minutes past 8, I believe. Can't get properties on this, can I? File information. There you go. Thursday, 2.47. Well, I didn't take it at 2.47, that's for sure. Uh, it won't, it doesn't tell me, it's only telling me when I sent it to myself. But I took it last night at 10 minutes past 8, so it's 2010. And that is, look, that's blue, folks. The sky is absolutely blue. It's a worry, isn't it? So I'm standing right here 
and I'm looking down. This is down to the beach down here, so I can see everything. And this, as I told you, is exactly what yesterday looked like. So I can actually see where Trig is from my house, more or less, if that makes sense. Now, let's go to the Trig cam. Twenty twelve, and they reckon it's like that. Well, I reckon they're a bunch of dimwits who need to learn how to do GCI properly, because it did not look anything like that, folks. And a couple of minutes later, I went out and took a picture in the backyard. And that's what it looked like. Excuse the mess here, I'm doing a little bit of work at home. So, oh, sorry about that. So, if you go back to the first one, this is what we've been seeing day after day after day, folks. And I can stand out there now at quarter to nine and I can still see the horizon or a glow on the horizon. It doesn't come out too good with the pictures, so but you just have to take my word for it. It's there, 100%. This is a picture that um, Andy sent in to me, um, and he was at a client's house. Look at that. This is on the beach, folks. You can see the beach just there. This is actually on the beach. That wasn't yesterday. Look at this picture, folks. Look at that. That's the beach just there. This guy lives on the beach, apparently. Or the client did. Look at this. Look at the sky. This is what we see in Perth every day now. Phenomenal, isn't it? I've got picture after picture like that at the moment. I don't want to bore you too much with the pictures. Okay, folks, this is a picture a still picture of uh, that I took last night of the moon last night um, out in the uh, front yard of my house. As I said, it was pitch black. So let me invert it. So as you can see, there's something there. So, what it is, I do not know. Is it a lens flare? I don't think so, because it doesn't show the characteristics of a lens flare. Uh, and as you saw in the video, it was stayed still when I was moving the other one around. That doesn't mean it's not a lens flare, but it doesn't show any characteristics of a lens flare, in my opinion. So, plenty to look at, folks. Um, the next time I do a video, it will just be uh, punters picks. People are sending pictures to me. Um, I've got a fair few of them now. I just want to go through them and um, so show you guys a lot of them. All right. Okay, folks, that's it. With everything that's going on in the world, and everything we're seeing in the skies, um, perhaps a little bit of spirituality won't hurt. I say the Lord's Prayer because it's probably the only prayer I know, really. I'm not religious, but the words do say a lot. Who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen.